roughing it. That's what most people think of when they think of camping. Or they go to the opposite extreme with glamping, basically a hotel with canvas walls. But there is a middle ground, a camping setup that is mobile yet truly comfortable. You don't have to have a giant truck to pull it off. This is ultimate camp comfort. So I have a family of five and unfortunately not all of them enjoy backpacking as much as I do, but we do love to camp and have managed to dial in our setup over the course of several years. In fact, we're spending the whole month of July on the road and this is all the stuff we take to stay comfortable and mobile. Let's check it out. Because we have a big family, we need a big tent with lots of room for plush sleep systems. Over the years, we've used a lot of different tents from cheap Coleman tents to high quality family tents. On this trip, we brought the Nemo Aurora six person tent. Now, six people is a stretch, allowing only 20 inches per person. We don't put up with that kind of crap and instead only put five people in this tent and one of those is only a three year old. Inside, we use two Exped Mega Mat Duo mats, which are by far some of the most comfortable sleeping pads we have ever used. We used to use cheap inflatable beds from Coleman or Intex. Those are comfortable and cheap, but they have no insulation and we found that in some of the areas we wanted to camp, it was just too cold for these cheap air mattresses. Plus, if you have to get up in the middle of the night, you are certain to wake up the other person, but with the Mega Mat, you can toss and turn and barely disturb your partner at all. My only complaint is they are a bit of a chore to pack away and they are a little bit bulky when you have limited space like we do. Speaking of which, we couldn't do a trip like this without the extra space from a cargo box like the Yakima Skybox 18. I've been using cargo boxes like this for years and this is one of the first ones that was capable of shifting far enough forward to clear the hatch on my vehicle. It opens from both the driver's side and the passenger's side and I use it to hold all of our gear that we don't need easy access to like the tent and the sleeping pads, bags, and chairs. Speaking of chairs, if you watch my channel very much at all, then you know I am passionate about chairs in the backcountry. I bring my Helinox Chair Zero on just about every trip I take, but when the car does the heavy lifting, I bring these heavy rocking chairs from GCI. Now, I don't really spend much time rocking in these chairs, but I do like the way that they recline thanks to these shocks on the back. Now, all these items add to the comfort of camping, but there is one thing that is the key to great comfort at camp, and that is the food. And you can't have great food without a well-insulated cooler. We use this 55 liter moose jaw cooler. Not only does it fit perfectly into the back of my 4Runner, but it keeps ice and food cold for days at a time. One of the issues we used to have was always needing to refill our ice once about every day, which limited how long we could be out. But with these hefty, nearly indestructible moose jaw coolers, they will keep ice cold for a good three to four days. Speaking of Moose Jaw, just about everything I'm talking about today you can get at moosejaw.com. They have one of the largest selections of camping and backpacking gear anywhere on the internet, and they're always happy to help you find the stuff that's exactly right for you. And if you use the code MLOMJ, which stands for My Life Outdoors and Moose Jaw, you can get 10% off most things Moose Jaw sells, 5% off things that are already on sale. Some exclusions do apply. Now, obviously a cooler is only going to keep your food cool. To really enjoy camp, you need a way to cook it. And for that, I've got a couple of really good options. This is the GSI Pinnacle Pro Stove. It has to be one of the sleekest looking two burner stoves out there. When it's completely collapsed, it's only about an inch thick, which I love because even though we've got a vehicle, it's not like we got endless room. And this stove fits nicely between my storage boxes and my cooler. But the stove is only half the kitchen. You also need some pots and pans. And what would go better with the Pinnacle Pro stove than the Pinnacle Pro cook set? This is what is cool about GSI is how everything nests inside everything else. The large pot goes inside the PVC sink. The small pot goes inside the large pot separated by the small cutting board. Then inside the small pot is the, you guessed it, the Pinnacle Pro dish set. It's got four plates, four insulated mugs, and four bowls slash cups. Now, the triangle shape, I admit, is a little strange, but the way it all fits so neatly into the cook set just makes me happy. The small lid goes next, then the pan, then the large lid, and then it all goes in my kitchen box, which also has some miscellaneous kitchen utensils, as well as these awesome Magware cutlery sets from Full Windsor. Now, that's great for traditional cooking, but if you're going to be cooking outside, you really want to be grilling, which is where this awesome collapsible grill comes in. Now, it takes a little bit of time to assemble, but once you put all the pieces together, you've got an awesome little grill that runs off of ISO Pro canisters, or if you've got an adapter, 
adapter. You can use propane. It's just big enough for three to four hamburgers or whatever else you want to put on it. Then when you are done, it collapses down to just a few inches thick and fits perfectly into my storage system. This is most of the stuff we take to stay comfortable and happy while camping on the road. This is also the first car camping video that I've ever done. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see more videos around car camping, please drop me a comment and let me know. Thank you to Moose Jaw for sponsoring this video. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.